Hi everyone, I hope everyone's well. Well, 2020 has been an interesting year to say the least. We started on a softer note on the first two quarters, led by the advent of COVID-19, which led to severe economic contraction, followed by massive fiscal and monetary stimulus globally. This led to risk assets like equities rebounding. The two major overhangs in the final quarter of 2021 have been removed, i.e. US presidential elections and the rollout of COVID-19 vaccines. The markets are in the midst of pricing 2021 as a year of even stronger recovery as the world re-enters the new normal of conducting business and social activities. No economic recovery goes up in one straight line. Nevertheless, even if the recovery is shallow or uneven, we believe record low interest rates and the willingness of governments globally to stimulate their fiscal means remains a key support for both economic and equity market recovery. Our key themes going into 2021 are the following. We call it the three R's. Recovery, Revitalize, Renewal. Recovery. Asian economies and companies continue to recover either through stronger PMI numbers or generating better profitability and income. Hence, our recommendation to focus on growth and income opportunities can be found in our Asia-Pacific income and our mixed asset funds. Revitalize. Take advantage of the recent vaccine news flow to focus on value opportunities in the region. In this instance, we believe that ASEAN markets, small cap investments and China will fit into the bill as they remain under-owned and will be revitalised by increasing flows by foreign flows into tourism, cyclicals and consumer discretionary that generally rebound when economies start to reopen post the vaccine rollout. Finally, renewal, where it is essential that we invest in new practices and in the right technologies for the sustainability of our future. In this respect, we think of the future biotechnology and ESG practices remain circular, long-term trends. As the world is preparing for a new political leadership in the US, we think that a new leader will bring additional fiscal stimulus for US and more predictable policy making. We expect US to return to the global stage, especially on platforms related to trade, global warming and security all in which will bode well for the sentiment of investing. We are confident that the Asian market will move beyond the pandemic impact to a new recovery in the new year. We are increasing exposure to ASEAN as the recovery broadens on the basis of number one, higher earnings with double-digit growth figures expected in 2021. Number two, a weaker US dollar that is set to benefit the export-oriented Asian economies. And number three, a more entrenched recovery in China. Since September, we have emphasized the importance of diversifying into ASEAN as part of the cyclical diversification for the next area of rally in equities. We remain cautiously optimistic on Malaysian equities and we do think the momentum for this rebound remains intact. In tandem with Bank Negara, we believe that the Malaysian economy is on track to grow between 6.5% to 7.5% in 2021, a sharp rebound from the estimated 4.5% contraction in 2020. Key sectors that have been recently added to our portfolios have been financials, consumer discretionary, and cyclical plays like basic materials and energy. As we enter the new year, our recommendation continues to favour equities over fixed income. Growth remains as the core strategy as is complemented by tactical strategies on value plays. Our 2021 theme of renewal, revitalise, recovery will also provide very innovative solutions for our clients. It all depends on your risk, appetite, but do use our three themes as a guide to navigate on these various funds that we have in our platform to invest in. It's pretty simple. Lastly, our message remains the same. Stay invested and keep a long-term focus. The journey in the economic upcycle remains vibrant 
and there remains a lot of opportunities to invest.